Okay, so I'm going to give you a demo of the LumaPro lighting system, and I am sitting over in here in a little burlesque studio, sitting on a chair, and I've got a model sitting over in here, up on the stage, and together we are going to take some photographs of this model here. So what LumaPro is, is a HUD that's worn by the photographer, and then is used to uh, light either yourself or models. And the way that it does that is, is there's a set of lights that uh, you give, and you press the Give Lights button and give a set of lights to the model. The model uh, then gets these lights and wears them, and now there are three controllable prim. Um, after the prim are res, they're controlled by the HUD. There are some very quick setting buttons here. I'm just going to pick Rembrandt as a start setting here, and notice when it did that, the light moved into positions and illuminated. What Rembrandt is, is one, uh, one light is offset from the center of the face and higher than the head and creates a dominant shadow on this side of the face and then creates a shadow line, a shadow on this side of the line. And then it's not uncommon in a Rembrandt light to have an accent and this green light is sitting behind her shoulder here and it accents the one side of her face that uh, would be dark otherwise. There's a third light and right now I've got it used to kind of lighting the, uh, lighting the outfit here. Um, let's make some adjustments to this thing. So the first thing we might want to do is, is tweak the colors here. So I'm going to actually just take this red dominant light and change it over to violet. And once it's done that, that red, this light, this prim now is casting a violet light rather than a white light. Um, notice the green accent light is still casting a white light. Next adjustment you might want to do besides uh, and you change the color of all the lights, the red, green, or blue, is uh, make a positional change. I'd like to have this accent a little more dominant. And what you do is you just click on a ball. And when you click on the ball, the ball moves into that position. And notice when it moved into position, it changed the accent. So let's give you an example of this thing. I'm going to take the accent light and turn it off. And you can see the consequence of having that accent light off. Or I can turn the accent light back on. Um, I can pick the intensity of the accent light anywhere from a small accent to a fairly dominant accent. Let's leave it on for theater. It's a good effect. Um, when you're ready to shoot, you just hit hide. And you're off shooting. So the next thing that you might want to do, obviously, is pose your model. Luma Pro has the ability to load poses into it and then use these poses. Um, I'm going to pose Angora with, uh, and by the way, it uh, lights and poses up to four models. I'm going to take one of my female poses for Angora here. Uh, ooh, let's pick this one here. And uh, what you can see is Angora is now being posed here by the Luma Pro, uh, Luma Pro system here. Um, Notice I've done this in a zero res sim and a zero, uh, or this can be done in a zero res sim and a zero script sim. Um, there's a pose wheel on it. I can click uh, next pose and previous pose. And the other key thing I wanted to point out is, is notice that when she dipped down and back up, the light stayed correct relative to her face. So typically scene lights, um, they would be walking in and out of the scene light and that's not necessarily what you want. Um, I would hit hide and I could shoot and then Go to the next pose in the series and hide the light again, or hide the HUD again, and I can keep uh, keep on shooting. Now the next thing Luma Pro can do is, is if you work in a sim that allows um, allows resing, is is I've got the ability to res um, a set of um, 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 lights that cast shadows. Let me give you an example of this. I'm going to hit res, res a projector, and what's going to appear here is in world um, a small projector that's now pointing at Angora. Give it a second to res here. There it is. And it's a uh, projection can, and it has light. The way you move this light is just by uh, touching the HUD. And once you do that, if you notice the shadow on her um, is being cast by this light, and I can then um, move this light into position. Notice the balls are actually casting a shadow. You would hit hide. Notice it hides both the balls and the can when you, uh, when you did that. Um, things I could do, for example, by the way, the can is black and there's a black set of buttons here, is I could change the uh, color of that. Let's go move the, uh, the projected light into, into the violet regime. And here's another cool trick we can do. If I click the control on the back of the can, I can actually change what light bulb is in the thing. Let's go to a spotlight. I'll go to a medium spotlight on her here. Give it a second to res here. And now you can see there is a spotlight on her and I can move that light around. Hit hide. And we're done. So Luma Pro is, um, again, a lighting system that's quick and easy to use. I'm set up in, what, three minutes for a shoot here? Um, I can shoot anywhere. I'm not stuck in a studio. I can shoot in a studio. Um, if I do have the ability to res, like I did in this place here, I can res lights. In fact, I can even show off a little bit and uh, res a second light here. And uh, with that second light, I can even uh, uh, get fancier still. We'll put a narrow spot on her and we'll move the second spot 
over to a different color and then move it around. And now I'm casting multiple shadows. Hit hide and we are off to the races. That's LumaPro.